Multiverses was supposed to change an entire genre of gaming, but now it's being shut down. Back in 2021, Warner Brothers announced a new game that would bring together some of the most beloved characters from different universes. This game was Multiverses. Multiverses was revealed as a fighting game where you could fight as Batman, Bugs Bunny, and even LeBron James. But things weren't actually going as well as they seemed. Between server issues, a lack of content, and other shortcomings, the game quickly died. And now, not even a year later, the game has been shut down. But what really happened? Let's go back to 2021. This is when an anonymous leaker on Reddit provided a ton of info about a supposed new platform fighter game coming soon. Supposedly, Warner Brothers have been working on this game for years, and it was based off of Smash Bros. and Nickelodeon All-Stars, but it was a brand new franchise. They reportedly planned on adding characters like Gandalf, Tom and Jerry, and even Batman. This all sounded great, but people were very skeptical. This Reddit post blew up, but most people thought that it was too out there of an idea to actually be true. Well, this post ended up gaining so much traction that Warner Brothers had to act. So, they announced their new game Multiverses in November of 2021. In the coming months, we learned that this game had been in the works for years, and the developers had tons of plans for it. This also verified all of the information that the leaker had said. We finally had confirmation that the game would be playable at some point in 2022. As time went on, they released their official first look reveal. This showed gameplay, characters, and answered a ton of questions that the community already had. This reveal trailer generated a ton of hype, and the idea of being able to play as tons of unique characters in a fighting game was just too good to pass up. The closed alpha was set to start on May 19th of 2022, and the beta would release shortly thereafter. People were pumped. This meant that they would actually be able to play the game soon. And on July 26th, the open beta started. This meant that anyone could download and play the game, and it was an instant success. Millions of players around the world downloaded the game. On PC alone, over 150,000 players were playing at the same time. The different characters and fun combat was awesome, and the community loved it. People were fantasizing about which of their favorite characters may be added next, and the game did great. The next month, the game peaked at about 140,000 players. Slightly lower, but that's expected for such a hyped up game. Players continued to play and enjoy the game, but slowly the sentiment would start to change. As the novelty of the game wore off, players started to notice that there really wasn't all that much content. It was still fun to hop on and play as their favorite character, but not for long. The combat got stale and there wasn't really any reason to grind the game. With tons of problems like this not being addressed, the player base quickly declined. The game went from 140,000 players in August to only 22,000 in September. That is an 86% drop in just one month. Multiverses was criticized for its simplified mechanics, lackluster graphics, and limited character roster. Many fans felt that the game lacked depth and complexity and that it couldn't compare to other successful Smash games before it. Not only was server connectivity an issue, but matchmaking irritated many and left others feeling as though the game was too easy with only a few attacks and movements. The issue though was that this got very boring and repetitive quickly. Players weren't able to continue learning new and exciting moves because there just weren't any. The character roster was also criticized. It's worth noting that Multiverses was not the first game to feature characters from different universes. In fact, there have been several successful games that have done so in the past. However, what set Multiverses apart was how unique its characters were. There had never been a game where you would see something like LeBron James fighting Batman. This was such a sensational concept that people loved. But they quickly realized that they wouldn't be getting any more of it. The game's criticism didn't end there either. They faced many controversies surrounding their business model. Multiverses was a free-to-play game that relied heavily on microtransactions to generate revenue. This led to many accusations of the game being pay-to-win and exploitative. Warner Brothers responded to the criticism by promising to improve the game and add more characters. However, these promises were never really met, and the damage had already been done. Most of these issues really just come down to a rushed product. It's clear that the game's development was rushed. 
many of the issues that plagued the game, such as the lack of depth and the limited character roster, could have been avoided if more time and resources were invested in its development. All of these issues contributed to the game quickly losing its player base. As of March 2023, the game on PC only has about 500 players playing. That is a 99% decrease from when the game first came out. Because of this, Warner Brothers have decided to take the game down. For now, they announced that they'll be shutting down the servers in June to continue working on the game. We'll be closing the Multiverse's open beta 90 days from today. As part of this process, we'll be pausing updates and taking the game offline as we prepare for the launch of Multiverses, which we're targeting for early 2024. They then plan on re-releasing the game as a finished product in early of 2024. 